I didn't. <laughs> so before we begin the video, I just wanted to talk about how this, I guess this, this whole thing became a thing. You know, I wanted to talk about what the trip meant to me and how it became the trip that made the trips of all the other trips. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. It started when I didn't really know these guys. Like, I knew Gerard from audio class. Like, it all started in screenwriting class where I met Chris. That was pretty cool. Um, and then one day he decided to go, let's go to the Grand Canyon. And that's this video right here. Oh my God. Are you recording? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so oh, shit. Fucking cool. So cool. Oh, damn. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, I don't ex expect much. I was just like, you know, I never really traveled, like, without, you know, family. Uh, why am I using the fucking code to? When we went on the trip, I was a little, like, shy, I guess. I, I felt weird because I didn't really know Chris, and I made some of the car rides a bit awkward. <laughs> Once the trip was over, that was when we just became like the best of friends. Like we bonded over Adult Swim and Chinese food. After that Grand Canyon thing, um, they decided to go somewhere else, and they went to Costa Rica. And I wish I went, but back then I was unemployed and didn't really have a job, so I wasn't able to travel with them. And it kind of sucked, I guess. I don't know. I was just like, man. I wonder what they're doing. Yeah, the idea of Japan came from Gerard, and um, we're all like, yeah, screw it, let's go, it sounds awesome. And then it was going to be me, Chris, Gerard, and another guy, which, uh, yeah, that guy. And then, with those four, I decided to invite my cousin, because he has a giant crush on Japan, like, literally, he's been wanting to go since... I was in high school, which was like five, six, seven years ago. So without further ado, here's that video that I promised you guys. Hopefully it's not that crappy. Disclaimer before you watch the video These were like the last three days of Japan like The last three I was in the mindset of just enjoying the ride afterwards, so There is literally not enough like I guess Content in there, so that's why I'm gonna be part of this video. So yeah um, Yeah, I didn't really record it all that much those last couple of days. It was just like little clips here and there, but that was basically it. Looks like a transformer ship. They use this to enter the atmosphere. No one's here? No one is here. This is nice, man. Everything, even Jose's beard. This is nice, man.
Chris, I found another K books. <laughs> So we decided to get lost that day. Like, me, Chris, and Jose would honestly just pick a random direction, like either left, straight, or right, every time we hit an intersection. We found like a lot of different stuff. Like we found this cool market in Shibuya called Mega, which has literally everything, electronics, food, cheap food, keep in mind. Uh, games, clothes, whatever you can think of. It was like a target for them, but better. While we were there, uh, one of the locals asked me if I could help them because I was pretty tall and stuff. So I was like, sure, why not? So I went over to the aisle that he wanted to get something from like top shelf and I helped him out. I got him like a jar of like pickled vegetables, which is like, hmm, okay. What do you need this for? He tells me I own a bar down the road. If you come, I'll give you a free drink. And then <laughs> my friend Chris was like, we're his friends. Can we get free drinks too? <laughs> I can't believe that worked, but he said yes. Like, I was like, holy shit, all right. He comes back with stickers from his bar, which is called Dasuichi. Dasuichi. So he told us to go there afterwards and like call him so he can give us the free drinks and we're just like yeah sure we'll go after. So we, we're done shopping, we headed out and then that was when like some cool ass thing happened. Like as soon as we walked in, we came to the booth, he's like, he yelled out our names, Salem, Drew, sorry. He yelled out our names, Salem, Jose, Chris, get over here. I don't know if he said that, but yeah. Um, the crazy thing was that he moved a lady from the front bar out of there so that we can sit in the front bar. And I'm just like, holy shit, this is insane. I feel bad for that lady. Yeah, he gave us a free drink and then Jose decided to actually keep it going. So, me being a super total lightweight when it comes to drinking, keep in mind I don't really drink. Um, he ordered the shots, the shots and shit, and I was like, ah. <laughs> it was funny when we were there because I was like, I'm not that good at this type of stuff. And uh, yeah, it was just a cool experience. Like, like I never thought that would happen. This is freaking awesome all we this was all random too all we did was pick a random direction every intersection and we came up with this like holy shit <laughs> it's like cheap ass food like food is like five and under like depending on what you get even like a, a full meal with like rice ramen chicken on the side was like six bucks and like that's pretty freaking cool. Compared to here where a bowl of ramen is like ten dollars. Over there it's like five or four, depending on what you get. I'm recording it from over there. I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna pan up as it arrives. <laughs> We're all <laughs> Oh, freaking way! That's so cool! Yeah! That is awesome, man. Do we press Ramen all day, every day. <laughs> Oh, 
こういうふうにしませんかおいしそう。I'm gonna knock the signs over. <laughs> Last day, souvenir shopping, Joe. Show him what you got. Oh, he's so cute, Aww. Joe. Oh, oh shit, man. <laughs> Here. Oh, God, I dropped something. Here, Chris. Sorry, can you hold this? I dropped something real quick. My bag is too big. No, it's just a little thingy. I feel like he would like that. There's a lot of stuff there, man. So, my experience in this trip was actually pretty freaking awesome, I have to say. We went to a lot of different places, we ate a lot of freaking food. And like we did, like still a lot of stuff. We barely scratched the damn. What the fuck? We barely scratched the damn surface with Japan. Like we're even willing to go back one day. Like so. So yeah, these two guys have become like my biggest, I guess my bestest friends so far. Cause like we've done Grand Canyon. We've hung out multiple times at school. We've gone out to eat at Mario's. That's that was always pretty cool. And what else? We went to Japan. That was awesome. Like, I never expected I'd go to Japan. Like, never. Like, I would want to go, but like, in my head, it never really happened. Like, I never saw myself in Japan until I was there. And I was just like, I have to live here now. This place is just fucking amazing. This is the last day. I'm a little bit sad. No, I'm really sad. I'm depressed now. I'm depressed. I want to live here. Why can't I just live here? YouTube, make me rich by me just doing videos. You know you got the power. <laughs> <laughs>